Welcome back. Well, as I mentioned, we have Siobhan Foster here on behalf of Village Management Services with the Laguna Woods Village Update. Welcome. Nice to see you. Good to see you, Lisa. You've been busy as always. I mean, I don't know how many meetings you go to a day. It must be a lot. Yeah. <laughs> but, but in any case, today you're going to give us a kind of an overview of some great things that are happening in the community. I am, and I'm excited to be here. Thank you. Over the last few months, we've been talking a lot about ways residents can help reduce costs and how VMS is reducing costs. This morning, I was hoping to share some cost savings measures suggested by VMS employees. Ah. The Bright Ideas program was launched in January to further VMS's cost saving efforts. Mm -hmm. And it's based on the premise that employees are a valuable source of ideas that may reduce costs, promote financial stability, enhance service quality and processes, mm -hmm. and improve safety and or decrease liability exposure. Uh, programs like this that incentivize employees to share beneficial ideas with employers are recognized as a best practice. Yeah, I mean, that's good because they, they're here day in and day out, right? Every day they see things that maybe most residents might not see on their end. Absolutely. Okay. So again, the program launched in January. We've received nine suggestions to date. Three awards have been issued, totaling mm. $1,500. These have been issued to senior financial analyst Ada Montesinos. She received $1,000 for her new method of paying franchise fees to the city, saving about $20,000 annually. Wow. Our landscape administrative assistant, Jana Abelmolaki, received $250 for an idea to reduce business card use and advocate the use of a QR code. This will save $1,800 annually. Mm -hmm. And Resident Services Administrative Coordinator Delphine Maffey received $250 for a way to plan efficient holiday luncheons, saving more than $1,300 a year. Every little bit helps. It certainly does. Fantastic. And then we have six suggestions under review. There's one pertaining to water heater procurement, which is estimated to save more than $25,000 mm. annually. And another one to reduce paper and copies for board meetings, estimated to save more than $5,000 annually. Yeah, paper's expensive. <laughs> it is. So I look forward to providing more updates as these suggestions are reviewed. Great stuff. It is. This morning, I also want to update upcoming recreation events. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of exciting events coming up, Here and we want to make sure that everyone is aware. Yep, fantastic. And so, so you're going to lead us with uh, a 2024 annual reservation lottery that I mentioned earlier in the show. Yes, you did. But we want to make sure everyone's aware that the reservation lottery is taking place. You can pick up your lottery cards in the recreation office or email a reservation request to recreation at vmsinc.org. Mm -hmm. Please return your completed lottery cards and submit your request by 5 p.m. on Thursday, June 15th. Participants will be notified of their secured reservations by Friday, September 1st. Great, and we've been notifying uh, the community about this Village Club Expo, which is a great idea. Have they done that in the past? They have, but then I understand it was interrupted by the pandemic. Oh, sure, okay. So this is the first time all the clubs will be getting together to share their club activities and so forth with residents. Mm -hmm. This will take place at the Village Club Expo on Thursday, May 18th from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. at Clubhouse 5. So Fantastic. all residents are encouraged to come out and see see what's Great available. Great idea. Great idea. Because it's hard to know how many there are here because there's so many. Yes. <laughs> and then the 90s luncheon will take place on Tuesday, June 20th at 1130 a.m. in Clubhouse 5. Okay. Father's Day brunch will be Sunday, June 18th at 11 a.m. again at Clubhouse 5. And that Mother's Day one sold out very quickly, yes. so they want to jump on that. The ninth annual Art Affair will be Saturday, June 3rd, from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. at Clubhouse 2. Okay. There are free Monday movies at the Performing Arts Center, or Clubhouse 3, however you name it. The upcoming movie is Queen Bees, and this will be June 19th at 2 p.m. Mm -hmm. And very excited about the second annual Renaissance Fair, which takes place this Saturday at 11 a.m. to 3 p.m at the Equestrian Center. Oh yeah, they, they came on uh, about a week or so ago and they had all their Renaissance stuff on. It was very cute. <laughs> and then there will be a Memorial Day ceremony on Monday, May 29th at 1 p.m. at the Performing Arts Center. And a patio concert featuring Steve March Torme and Our Songs, June 1st at 6.30 p.m. 
at Clubhouse One. Great. And then we've got, of course, contact information for them, which is a lot of different ways, so you can see all the yes. different uh, activities. Yes, absolutely. So I just wanted to, again, update everyone on what is going on in the village. I love that. Well, thank you very much for the information. Appreciate it. Thank you. My pleasure. Okay. And if you have any questions about any of the information that we have provided today, you can always send an email to generalmanager at vmsinc.org, and we'll send it off to the appropriate person. We'll be right back.